I guess I'll start out with uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very good. <clears throat> with the less weight on me, I feel, you know, a lot better, obviously, and uh, a lot more strength and feel like energy and feel like I'm at the top of my game, actually. Can you uh, just kind of describe to us what the experience was like, um, I'm sure, you know, emotionally and just physically the whole thing? Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, first of all, for some three years or so, maybe even a little bit longer, I've been going to the Mass General Hospital Weight Loss Center and trying to uh, get some assistance in terms of losing weight. Um, uh, losing weight, uh, at the beginning anyways, never having, was thinking about in, any surgery. Uh, losing weight in, you know, exercise programs, special eating programs, um, some medications. To make a long story short, every so often I might get down 20 pounds, might lose 20 pounds, feel pretty good about myself and say, you know, I, I could do this, I could do this. And I'd say within a month or so, if, if, if that long, I put it right back on. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously after a period of time, um, the doctors uh, explained to me that the only way that they felt I could be successful uh, with losing weight was to have surgery. Uh, it took me quite a bit of time to decide that I would take that step. Um, but after much thought and going back and forth, uh, I think it might have even taken me close to six months to a year, I decided that, um, you know, to keep on gaining weight at the pace that I was gaining, um, probably by the end of the year, I could be close to 300 pounds the way the way it was the way it was going. Mm -hmm. So I decided to have the surgery. Uh, all the doctors agreed that's what was in my best interest. Even my primary care uh, doctor, who's generally fairly conservative with those types of things, felt in my case it, w it, it was necessary. Um, so uh, I mean, I didn't have anything. Uh, wrong. It wasn't like an immediate need for surgery to help, uh, you know, the heart or blood pressure or whatever. Uh, so it wasn't anything like that. Although I did know that if I was, to you know, keep on continuing at this pace, uh, you know, problems um, could arise as they would with anyone um, who, who who may be uh, somewhat overweight. So on August third, I, I I had the uh, surgery. Um, was in the hospital for some um, uh, three days. Uh, you know, was released late on that uh, Wednesday, uh, I guess it was. Uh, immediately, I was put on a, a liquid uh, diet for some um, two weeks, uh, generally of uh, things like broth and, uh, you know, something like that. I'm trying to think of what else I had. I could have protein drinks, water. Uh, the, the best thing I could have was uh, uh, no no sugar uh, popsicles. Mm -hmm. I, that was like uh, filet mignon for me, actually. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, so that lasted a couple of weeks, and then um, starting the third week, I went into another phase, which I presently am in now. Mm -hmm. um, we're in sort of a soft food uh, phase. Um, uh, eggs, uh, soup. I can have a little more, you know, uh, the, the soup, not just the broth, but some of the, the uh, you know, the soup. Um, egg salad, chicken salad, uh, tuna salad. Uh, and again, continuing with the popsicles, and now I can even have some uh, pretzels uh, as, as well. Um, how much weight have you lost uh, so far, and how much do you plan to lose, or how much is the surgery? Um, right now, if if my scale is correct at home, probably about forty-two pounds since 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 the operation. So mm -hmm. so that's happening. Mm -hmm. So that's happening. And is this a slow process, or is I mean, it's only been a month, plus forty-two, but. It's well, I, I, I think actually to lose about, uh, you know, 40 pounds in about a month is, is pretty good for me, obviously. 
and I think it's mainly because of the, um, you know, uh, the diet I'm on. And the diet I'm on also relates to the fact that you have to give your your body uh, the, from the operation some time to heal. So it's not just a question that they're trying to get my weight down through other means. They need, I, I can't, even if I tried to uh, eat something uh, that, that I'm not ready for, I would feel it, not because of anything else, but, the, but it's not ready from the surgery. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the other things you learn. Uh, I'm a very quick eater. Um, I was a very quick eater. Uh, a uh, person who, when he takes a drink, generally gulps things down. I, I can't do any of that. I feel it very, very quickly. If I lose track, like if I'm talking to you or trying to eat, and I lose track of how much I'm putting in my mouth, I'll feel it very quickly. <clears throat> no, you know, almost like an indigestion type of thing. Okay. Um, it, do you plan on running for uh, re-election? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah, even more so now. I'm, now, I'm, you know, as I stated, I'm... I'm uh, Lost weight, feel like I feel better than I've ever felt, and feel I'm at the top of my game. Did you feel that before that, um, before this surgery, that there was a question whether you would or not? Or no, I can't say that this caused me to do it, <clears throat> but I would say, I mean, I mean, this was done really for quality of life. I, you know, I, I, I can't say anything else except to say that, you know, when you're Walking around with in excess of 60, 70 pounds, you know, we'll say, uh, you know, you get tired a lot uh, quicker, mm -hmm. it gets more difficult with your breath, and, you know, so you notice those types of things. Again, I wasn't in risk of any, the doctors didn't say you have to have this done, otherwise, you know, the consequences will be severe. It wasn't anything else like that, like some people have. Um, but it was, uh, I think, important to get done. Um, I think, you know, for the sake of my, uh, my family, you know, my quality of life, and, and quite frankly, I think it uh, brings, gives me a lot, uh, lot more energy than I had before. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome.